this video, we are going to continue with double angle formula. You will find this on page 452 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. And again, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So this is algebraic fractions in double angle formula. That means now I'm just not going to give you a value. I'm going to give it in terms of an unknown. A, a B, or C doesn't matter. So I'm saying if sin theta is P, not a value, where theta is an acute angle, that's very important, express each of the following in terms of P. If it's acute, then it can just be in quadrant one. Okay. Now, I start with this statement. Remember sin, where is sin? Can I just say here? Okay, let's make it here. Um, sin theta is P over 1, basically then. And sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So if I'm going to draw this, the opposite will be P and the hypotenuse will be 1. How will we work this out? With Pythagoras theorem. So 1 squared minus P squared. And because it's on this side, it will take the positive option. If it was on this side, it would have taken the negative option. But it's not on that side. Okay. Then, so basically, I'm going to start now. I have all my information, and that's how I got that. Okay. Now, if I'm saying, and now I'm going to start using my rules. If I say sin 2 theta, now I just go and I was showing you the rules again. And remember, you can use your formula she sheet. So if it's sin, okay, let's, there, there is sin 2 theta. So it's going to be 2 sin theta cos theta. This is very nice because it's just going to, now it's theta. Remember, on this sketch, I can use sin 1 theta cos 1 theta tan 1 theta and this is now 1 1 so that's very easy I can basically just substitute in the place of sin it's p over 1 in the place of cos it's this over 1 and then I can simplify and it's in terms of the unknown or in terms of p okay let's go to the next one now cos and some is, is easy and some is a bit more cos is actually easy if it's a half sin then it's a bit more challenging which i will give you in the example but i think this one is still easy so this is cos square a half theta now i have to think just don't forget to get a half then I, it's actually two times a half do you agree theta that will be equal to one theta okay so, if I'm going to go to the cos, now let's just find the cos one. Now, the problem with cos, always the double, it's having three options. But the best will be to stay with cos. Because if this is cos, then I stay with the one just, just having the one function in it, cos. Not the one with the sin and the cos or just the sin. Okay. So, I start, it's actually like I'm saying, cos... And then it's 2. And I'm putting, and I think I should have put this step in to help you a little bit. So it's 2 a half. Do you agree? And that is going, I'm going to put the equal there. And now I'm just going to use this, this blue. But every time I see theta or A, I'm just going to put a half. So it's going to be 2 cos squared. And now in the place of A or theta, I just put a half theta minus one. Okay, so basically, so I choose the expression which is just having a cos, cos uh, square in. Why do I choose the one? I, I'm looking for cos square theta. Don't forget, I'm looking for cos square a half theta. Okay, now by having this, I'm taking this one over. It's positive because there is my, my uh, cos square a half. But now I must still, still divide by two. Okay, so uh, uh, basically I just swap the sides here, okay, because I always like to get my subject on the left-hand side. So I just swapped it. But basically, can I just show you, I was actually just dividing by 2, dividing by 2, then that 2's cancel out, and I'm, I'm sitting with this. Okay, 
And now I'm having one theta, cos one theta, and I can use my graph. So what is cos? Cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse plus one, and it's basically just simplifying. So in this case, it's just going to, okay, let's just, the one is not so, let's just make it like this. It's one minus p squared plus one, plus one, okay, and it's divide two, remember it's two over one, so it's actually multiply a half, be with me, a half. And then it's just this, do you see, this over two, and that's my, and there I have my cos square a half theta. Okay, so this is a bit more challenging when I choose this one, to choose the correct one. The nice thing with the double angles of sin and tan, you just have one option. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you just to do this top one. And it's here, oh, let's just get it. I just want you to do try now 14. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Again, I start by saying cos theta is A. Remember, it can be any unknown. Now it's not P, but just A. Theta is again an acute angle, so it's again in quadrant one. Express each of the following in terms of A. Okay. Now... Let's start. I always start with the sketch. So if I'm trying, I'm first going to, the first thing is just going to my sketch. I need, I need to find all three sides. Now I'm only having two. Now if I go to my three sides, then it's going to be there. Okay. And then I'm just filling it in. So cos is adjacent. Okay. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. Now, how do I find this one? Pythagoras theorem. So, it's hypotenuse squared minus the, one of the short ones, or long one squared minus one of the short ones. And don't forget, it's on top, so that's why it's taking the positive option of 1 minus a squared. If it was here at the bottom, it would have been negative. I'm just going to say 1 minus a squared, but it's not there. Okay, so I can clean that. I just want you not to confuse you with too many data. Okay. Okay. So there is my angle and I can start. And don't forget again what I always say here. Remember, you can work with, on this sketch, you can just work with sin theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Okay. So whatever you must get, otherwise you must get from the previous one. Right, so let's start with number A. Let's move it a little bit to this side. Yes, excellent. And then number A. So it's going to be sin for theta. Now, don't forget that this is actually very nice because, okay, I rather want to put it here. So this is going to be, you can say, sin to, and then you say to theta. Okay. And don't forget, I'm going to go to the previous page to show you. So that will bring you four. So the previous page, I just want to show you the formula again. There it is. So it's 2 sin A cos A. But remember, now it's 2A. Okay. So it's going to be, and I'm going to go back. So don't forget your formula from the formula sheet. So it's going to be 2 sin, but now you say 2 theta. And cos 2 theta. Okay. And I, I just want to get the pen. So whatever I put there must stand there, must stand there. Do you see that? Okay. So, and then there, there I will get my 4. And that's what I want to do. Now, now, I have again, and I can use again a double, double. Do you see that? So again, I can go, I have my sin, that's staying the same. So it's going to be 2, but now it's going to be, okay, I just want to write that 2. So I, I'm focusing on the yellow, are you with me? So it's 2, sin theta, cos theta. 
Okay. And now, if I'm going to do this one, because I'm having cost. Now, if you look at my graph, what is the easiest? Um, easiest is cost, because it's A over 1. Because if, it, if you work with sin, you are working with that. And even if you work with tan. So if you can keep to cost, keep to cost. So go to your previous page. And now, cost, I'm going to look for this blue one still. Are you with me? Because it's just having cost. This one is having sin and cost. This one is having sin. Okay, so I'm rather going to keep to my formula because I can use any one and I think at the end you will get the same answer, maybe just longer. Okay, or you can get into a dead road. Okay, so this is going to be then 2 cos square theta minus 1. And don't forget, it's coming from my this. Now, now as soon as I have this, I have 1 theta one theta, the square doesn't matter, one theta, then I can use my graph. And what is sin? Sin, oh, unfortunately, it's a little bit, one minus a square, and it's going to be over hypotenuse. That's sin. What is cos? Cos, it's a over one. And what is, okay, let's just do it like this. What is 2? What is cos? Oh, that's nice. It's a over 1, and now I just square minus 1. Okay, it's a bit more complicated, but you will only simplify up to a point. So it's 2. So this one is going to be, do you see 2 times a? If you put this over 1, so it's 2a, and then it's 1 minus a square, and then it is 2a square minus 1. And, and Basically, I can just then um, go and multiply this in. I just want to see um, if I skipped something. So this is just going to be 4a. No, it's fine. I just multiply in one of the brackets. The first one, 4a, and then it's... Oh, sorry, I don't want to put a bracket there. I'll show you where I want to put the bracket. I want to put the... I'm just multiplying it in the first one. So it's going to be 1 minus a squared and then 2a squared minus 1. And that is going to be my final answer. Don't multiply it out. It's simplified enough. Okay, let's do the final one. Okay, let's start with number B. Okay, now I want sin a half theta. Okay. But the problem is, if I look at my previous page, if I look at sin, the, the problem is if I have this sin a, a half, I, I sit with cos a half also and I cannot get rid of it. Okay, so I cannot start with the sin, sin um, double angle. I must rather look for an option at the cos. Now, again, if I look at the cos, if, if I look at the first one, I don't want to, to sit with a half and a half two functions. Okay, I must think of something, this one will work, but then also I don't want cos again, I, at the end I want sin, so I will go for this green option. So I will say cos 2, then I can say a half, which I will do now, and I can put a half in and I'm, I can get rid of this half here and I end up just with the half there. So it this cost one and the sin one is a bit challenging because you have to choose the correct one of the three. So let's stop. So if I'm going to, I'm going to go for that option, as I said to you. I'm going to say, okay, let's start. Cos, are you with me? And now I must go for the double angle. So two, but if I then say a whole theater. Do you agree? Because then I get cos theater. Then, then, I, then I don't sit with cos also with a half. But I'm looking for a half in sin. So basically, I'm just going to use my formula and say 1 minus 2 sin squared. And if I use there a half, I must use there a half theta. Okay, are you with me? And now I end up with cos theta, which is nice because then I can go to the graph. And this is 1 minus, okay, this was a bit unnecessary, but I'm going to just continue this row. Okay, now, what am I going to do? I'm going to make this the subject of the formula. 
I'm taking it to the other side because I don't like the negative. So it's 2 sin square, a half theta, and that's 1 minus cos theta. Okay, what can I do now? Um, I'm still trying to go to this. So I divide 2, divide 2. So I'm sitting with sin square. Okay, I don't like the square, but I will now get rid of it. But I first want to substitute because now I can work from my graph because there's 1. So it's going to be 1 minus, what is cos? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's A over 1. And it's over 2. Oh, let's just get that 2 correct. Sorry. 2. So basically, if I move it up, and now I used my graph so I can move it up now. I'm going to say, okay, so this is 1 minus A over 2. Okay. But I don't want to get rid of this. Do you agree? So I'm going to say sin, chapter 4, to get rid of the square. So it's a whole theta. I must just say plus minus. Are you with me? 1 minus A over 2. And then don't forget what I always say. You have to go to the question again. This is an acute angle. Now, an acute angle means it is in quadrant 1. So it means I will not take the negative option in quadrant 1. Everything is positive. So therefore, sin, and now I have my half theta, and it's going to be square root 1 minus A over 2. So basically, I reject it negative square root 1 minus A over 2. And that's my final answer.